Today we are going to be looking at Apple Arcade. The first time I've seen it was with iOS 13. It actually came out uh, September of 2019. And I was like, okay, I guess it's just all the games in the App Store that we usually play. And now they're making us pay for it. So in my mind, that's what I was thinking. Uh, I didn't necessarily see a change from the games I had on my phone where they phased out or they were gone. I don't really play that many anyway, but the few that I do mess around with, um, I still had access to them. So it didn't really seem like a big thing. Um, got a new phone, I saw I had three months free, and I was like, ah, eh, but then I'll forget to cancel, and then I'll be charged the $4.99 a month. Not for me. Uh, my wireless provider recently included it in our unlimited plan, so I'm like, well, okay, it's free, so I might as well now take advantage. It wasn't a three-month, six-month, or 12-month. It was free as long as I don't change my plan. So I'm like, okay, sure, I'll buy it. So I started messing around with it, and it's actually pretty cool. Um, there's some games that my daughter plays on her iPad. We have Apple TV, so she can now play them on the TV. Now her Apple ID is different than mine, so because she doesn't have a phone yet, she doesn't have an Apple ID on a phone tied to our account, so therefore she couldn't get the um, Apple Arcade on hers. But my wife and I have it, so my wife has it on her phone, I have it on mine, and all my devices I have my Apple ID on. I have access to it, so that includes my Mac, that includes my Apple TV. So my daughter can play on the TV and not have such a small screen. We're always telling her, you know, keep your head up, you know, careful with your neck, because she's always like this. So she stretches it and kind of takes her time, and then we have limits when she can do it. Um, but, you know, if it's on the TV, at least she's not straining her neck and we can still time limit. So we thought maybe that would be a little bit better for her. So. We're going to go through the basics of it today to see what it entails, um, the subscription cost, if you can bundle it with other Apple things, do you need a controller? So the basics, Apple Arcade is a video game subscription service offered by Apple Inc. It is available through a dedicated tab of the App Store on devices running iOS 13, TV OS 13, iPad OS 13, and Mac OS Catalina or later. The service launched on September 19th, 2019, after being announced in March of 19. The cost is $4.99 per month. So, basically, what it is, is it's a collection of games, uh, 200 plus games, uh, mobile games, arcade originals, timeless classics, and app store greats. One subscription, no ads, no in-app purchases and you can share it across um, Apple Arcade with your family. So it's $4.99 a month. After the free trial, you get unlimited access to 200 plus games for the price of one premium game each month. So you get one month free through Apple automatically. If you purchase an iPad, an iPhone, a Mac, basically any device, you get three months free. Um, or if you are a part of a, of a wireless subscriber, a cell phone subscriber that is now including it, then you may be able to take advantage of it that way as well. Um, or you can do a free one month trial through Apple One, which Apple One, you bundle Apple Arcade with up to five other great services for one low monthly price. So basically with the games, it's not just your regular games, there's brain teasers, there's magical quests, Endless runners, sports games, beloved classics, and more. New amazing games and updates added every week. So enjoy unlimited, uninterrupted access to the games you love and the ones you're going to love. So no, no uh, ads, which is great. Um, you can jump, run, solve, and build across devices. You can start on your iPhone, earn points on your Mac, level up on an iPad, play games effortlessly across your favorite devices and easily turn on screen time or parental controls when you need them. So, can you play with a controller? Now, this particular one I have, just for an example, is a wired controller. You would have to have a wireless controller. Um, so, I do have a list of them that I will put on to the video so you can see. Um, so, yes, you sure can play with a controller. If you see a controller icon on a Games App Store product page, the game has controller support. You can use a game controller to play many games in Apple Arcade. And some games on Apple TV even require one. So because our iPads and our phones are touchscreen, 
some of the games that you select, you won't need a controller. There's one that is uh, The Floor is Lava. So you actually have to turn to see, and now you're actually moving around, kind of like Pokemon Go, if you play that, where it's almost virtual. So if you make a left and turn, you actually have to turn your whole body, and so you end up walking around the house or even outside um, playing this game, which is good exercise, right? You're not just sitting in, in one spot. Um, so that is a cool game where on your phone or iPad, again, you, you don't necessarily need a controller. Um, there is another game, like a skateboarding game, where you would need a controller. So Apple built controller support into tvOS 13, iOS 13, and iPadOS 13. So any of those, um, iOS 13 is, is basically required on the devices to run it. Uh, if you want to use a controller with Apple Arcade, because multiple platforms are supported, you can start a game on one device and swap over to another without losing your place. So we touched on that already. But you can use a controller for some of the games that require one. Now, this is from iMore, the best game controllers for Apple TV and Apple Arcade 2022. So the best overall was Steel Series Nimbus, the best for portable gaming, PXN MFI game controller, best for PS4 users, so PS, PlayStation, would be the DualShock 4 wireless controller for PlayStation 4. Now, just to give you an idea, I looked for this particular one on eBay used, and I believe it was 30 to 50, depending. Some did not include a charger cable, so I don't know how you would charge that without a cable because it is wireless, so it would need to, to charge. Um, or unless it's one of those where it uses the rechargeable batteries where you can unplug, so I'm still researching that. Um, best for Xbox One users, Xbox wireless controller, multiple colors. Best for PS5 users, the PlayStation PS5 DualSense. So those are your top five from iMore in terms of controllers that you can use. Now this actually happens to be a part of a, I think it's a 600 game unit we got on Amazon. It's a little box. Think of your Nintendo back in the day in the 80s, right? It was about this big a square. Well, this one's a little small square. I don't recall how much we paid for it. Um, fun little gift. Uh, I just kind of fired it up and started playing around with it. And it's got Contra and Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Turtles and all the greats I used to play. Super Mario, Mario. Um, so similar to that, um, except it's going to be through Apple. And you'll have newer games come on. Uh, there's NBA 2K, I believe. I didn't see any NFL games. Um, Pac-Man is on there, but it's like a newer version. Um, so there's a lot of fun things on there. Um, Solitaire is on there as well. So I'm looking forward to playing it, having fun with it. Um, again, if it wasn't free, I probably wouldn't have done it. Um, I'm not necessarily a big gamer. I've messed around with the thought of getting a PS4 just to kind of have something to play. Um, maybe this would kind of replace that to where it's not going to cost anything out of pocket except for that wireless controller that I would get. Um, so let me know your thoughts. Have you um, jumped on to the Apple Arcade bandwagon, so to speak? Do you have it personally? What are your thoughts? What are some of your favorite games that you enjoy? Um, have you found it easier to do on your iPad or your iPhone or even with your Apple TV? Did you get a controller? Which controller did you get? Um, love to hear that feedback. And as always, like, subscribe, and make it a great day.